Hi, this is Mark, and I'm here in the yoga room at my gym. And I just finished a practice, and I'm going to do the reading now from the Golden Present, Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda. Satchidananda founded Integral Yoga, and he came over from India in the late 60s, and then Integral Yoga started. First one was in uh, New York. City, I and mean, that's actually the first integral yoga that I stepped into back in, I think, 95, maybe, not knowing this was going to be my path, and that it wasn't until 2009 that I did my teacher training in integral yoga, having practiced for many years prior, and uh, now I'm doing the readings just as a project for myself for 365 days and sharing it with you, and this is for November 3rd. The topic is, whatever you do, do it peacefully, gently. This is a question and answer format. I want to help end the nuclear arms race around the world. Do you think it's important to join a freeze group? Or can one person accomplish more through meditation, prayer, and chanting? And then Swami Satchidananda says, I would say prayer, chanting, and meditation would be more helpful if you still want to join a group, all right, but don't become a radical. Don't create more violence in trying to remove violence. You can join hands, but whatever you do, do it peacefully, gently. And if you can't find a group like that, do it yourself. Think, send your prayers. Sincere, heartfelt prayers will spread out all over the globe and all those who are ready will receive them. More than anything else, know that you are just doing your part, but ultimately, it's all in the hands of the one who created the world. He knows how to handle it. You are simply playing a small part. Hi there. I'm doing a reading from a, a book. If you don't, I mean, you're, you're welcome. Is that well, right? I'm going to do some posing here in a minute. Oh, good. Okay. It's just a videotaping. Are you doing yoga? What's up? Do you do yoga? Uh, no, a lot of yoga. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. Posing. Now I know what you mean. Oh, awesome. Got a show coming up, so we got practice. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. Don't let me interrupt you. No, I'm happy you're in here. It's cool. All right. So this is um, something specific about, you know, this person's question. What, how, can they, how can they do something when they feel like they're just one person? And it's a huge issue, right? So, I like that uh, what, what's being given as guidance here is he's, rather, he's saying, you know, rather than feeling like you need to join, it's interesting because he's saying rather than joining a group, he's saying that prayer, chanting, and meditation is more helpful. Um, he said not to become radical. And I think my instant thought would be to do those other things, taking action would be the more appropriate thing use the meditation to stabilize you, but ultimately we've got to take some kind of action steps. And here he's saying prayer chanting meditation. Um, and I, you know, I imagine that it's in order, and you, that has to be done in order to align yourself, for in order for yourself to feel like you're grounded. And it's only from that place that any actions are going to be worthwhile. If you're doing it out of almost an aggressive place or Sometimes we do things because it's um, trying to solve our inner wounds rather than solving the outer issues. So it's an interesting message he's giving. And he says, more than anything else, know that you are just doing your part. Ultimately, it's in the hands of the one who created the world, who, knows, who already knows how to handle it. So sometimes we feel like we're the ones in charge of all of this, but what if there is some other greater supreme force that's helping guide some of this and sending the impulses into us to know what it is that we need to do. But, you know, I think what the prayer, chanting, meditation, what it does is kind of like what this guy's doing behind me. It's sort of like creating stable muscles, stable support. He's preparing for a competition. And so, you, you know, he's got to be aware of his own form, his own strength. 
And that inner strength is what we develop through prayer, meditation, chanting. And then once you do that, then you can go out. You know, he's going to go do competition. So you got to have that first, have your own stable, um, clear vision of what you're bringing, and then bring it. And I think that's that seems to be what's um, valuable for me about this reading. Um, and I like what he says here too. And if you can't find a group like that, do it yourself. Especially if you're trying to find a group that'll do it peacefully, gently. If you're not finding one of those, create one so that it, it has that same energy moving out. You don't want to send violence and aggression out to try to solve violence and aggression. And that seems to be the big message here. You know, but we're all works in progress. So it takes, you know, it takes time. Sometimes I know like on the mat, I might have an injury or even a small injury. I haven't had a, a bigger one before it hurt my knee. So you just go through these journeys and I was probably putting too much in a, of an ambition into my practice, ambitiously trying to accomplish rather than doing it peacefully, gently. So, all right, that's the message for today. That's our friend in the background preparing, <laughs> strengthening himself. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.